Hello, hello, beautiful people. God bless you. Bam, bam. Happy Monday. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's so good to see you today here. It is July 10th here in Los Angeles. And uh, I love broadcasting at this time, usually 9 or 10 a.m., usually 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Well, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I want to talk to you about a very now word, a very timely word. I have some things I want to speak to you and release into your spirit. Amen. And uh, I'm excited uh, to release this timely word. Someone would say, I am always on time. Amen. So give some hearts and likes. Let me know where you're watching from. Share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because this is going to be a prolific, profound, very prophetic broadcast. And I did title it Prophecy Now. If you didn't know, I have a clubhouse room in the app, social media app called Clubhouse, called Prophecy Now. And I felt like I wanted to uh, title it Prophecy Now because it is a now prophetic word. Uh, but really, even though it's a now Kairos prophetic word, I'm talking about the three weeks of unusual we are in right now. We are in a three week window. And I believe all of you feel a shift. And you know what? For me, I am a times and seasons prophet. Uh, you know, I move in the oil of Issachar, right? We discern the times and seasons. And the tribe of Issachar, they discern the times and seasons so they knew what to do here on the earth realm. And so predominantly, I function in the Issachar realm and Issachar oil and anointing. Now, there's many different types of prophets, prophetic ministries, prophetic voices. Amen. Of course, we also move in signs and wonders. Praise God, Elijah was a signs and wonders prophet. Uh, so whenever you follow me, you understand that I will give you a now fresh word. So I'm here to prophesy into the season you are in, we are in right now as a corporate body of Christ because we need a now word and the harvest is ripe, salvation is now. Today is the day of salvation, faith is now. So I'm saying amen, so I wanna to preach to you, I wanna to prophesy to you, and I want to release the word of the Lord to you. But give us some hearts and likes, share this on your wall, tag somebody. Let your people know one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is here in the house. And in a few minutes, we're gonna begin, but I do wanna give some shout outs to a number of you, amen. And uh, I haven't used this cup in a long time, so. Amen. <laughs> um, well, praise God, I have a very full day today. It's already been full morning, but God is good. And by the way, you need to go watch the movie Sound of Freedom, especially if you are in the United States. The Sound of Freedom, I watched it on Saturday evening. Incredible movie. And the movie was well done, but more than that, it's about the story and the message of these children being trafficked, these children being abused. And, uh, you know, we need to end human slavery. There are more slaves today than there ever has been in human history. So we need to end human slavery, child slavery, child trafficking. So go and watch the movie, The Sound of Freedom, and I really hope and pray that more of these influencers use their platforms to talk about important cases and causes and important issues. Amen. Instead of shying away, I mean, this is, there's 22 million children that are being trafficked every year. 22 million kids being stolen, abducted, kidnapped, trafficked, raped every year and that's adding on 
to the millions that are already in the system in this huge evil dark industry so go and watch the movie support it sound of freedom amen now praise god i'm going to begin to minister the word in a few minutes but good to see you karen joseph south africa you know i love my south africa family i might be coming to south africa in august so let's see that shara baba amen let me know where you're watching hey vicky leticia amen prophecy one and that's right Kashika, good to see you. You've been on. Good to see you. Kamran, bless you. Madagascar, shalom. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Appreciate you. Rwanda from Naina, South Africa. South Africa, wow, South Africa is strong today. I love seeing that. Come to Durban. Durban is a little far off from Joburg or to, from Cape Town, but let's see. I was in Durban last year. Apostle Sheldon, good to see you. Rebarabata. Come on, let's build up the room and the algorithm because I want to begin to minister in a few minutes concerning the time we are in. Concerning the time we're in of the three weeks of the unusual. Amen. So I'm very excited. I'm bubbling with joy. Can't wait to release this in the mighty name of Jesus. Andrea, bless you. Jurgen Meyer, bless you. Avis, bless you. Shana Baba, UAE, bless you. And I was planning on going to Dubai, but I think I'm going to go to Egypt instead in the month of October. October, so. AZ Strong, hello. Amen. Edna, Pastor Edna. Emmanuel, Dallas, all right. Is that Japanese? That's incredible. Rabashita Rababa, Mariana, Shalom, Valerie. Switzerland, amen. Praise God, praise God. Let's continue to build up the room here. Amen. Albuquerque, bless you. Glory be to God. Well, I want to begin to share and to minister the word of the Lord. So continue to tag your friends and share this on your I'm very excited. Uh, friends, we are in an unusual window, an unusual time frame. And of course, we're in the three weeks of mourning. And I've been, I've already been talking about this. Uh, but we're in the three weeks of mourning. But yesterday, as we were at my church at Open Heavens World in Orange County, Southern California, there was an unusual spirit of heaviness and oppression. And I felt backlash in the air. I felt witchcraft in the air. And I felt the spirit of being an emo in the atmosphere. And the worship was great, but we did not break through in the worship time. And uh, of course, that frustrates me because I'm a glory holic. I'm a revivalist. I'm a glory snob. I love glory atmospheres. And so uh, concerning, concerning uh, the atmosphere yesterday, I just felt like a lot of people were wounded and hurt and they were feeling emotional in the soul and the heart. Now remember, it's not a bad thing to be emotional, right? For many years, Christians have condemned the soul. But who here knows that there is an, a carnal part of the soul, but as well, your soul can also be redeemed. Amen. Who here knows that your spirit is regenerated but it's your soul, someone say soul, it's your soul that lives forever in heaven, all right? It's your soul, because your soul is your personality. Your soul is your makeup, your soul is your DNA, right? That's why even in the Psalms, David says, bless the Lord, O my soul, all right? If it was gonna be very spiritual, it's a bless the Lord, O my spirit, right? There's something about the soul. So for many years, the Christian community has condemned the soul. You could be soulish which means you're in the flesh or you're carnal. Or you can have your soul regenerated in the Holy Ghost where your soul is no longer tainted by the Adamic nature, the carnal nature of sin, 
but now your soul is fully alive and vibrant in the life, the abundant life of Jesus Christ. If you're following me, so far, just not yet, yes. And yesterday, as I was in the church service, I felt a heaviness where there was a spirit of backlash. There was, there was some offense. There was, there was witchcraft. There were lies and, and the soul, the heart of people yesterday at a church service, they were dealing with uncertainty. Hear me now. Come on. Give me some hearts and likes in the name of Jesus. They were dealing with uncertainty. And the reason why I'm sharing this as an introduction is because it relates to you. And it relates to the season that we're in. And I'm going to connect it and knit it and tie it all together. Amen. Because I know a lot of you missed our service yesterday anyways on the Facebook Live broadcast. But there, there felt like a open wound or a gain, gaping wound where people's hearts were sad. Maybe they were tired. Maybe they were downtrodden on my soul. The Psalmist David says, why are you downtrodden on my soul? Be glad. Rejoice. So there, there felt a spirit of heaviness. And in the atmosphere yesterday, of course, when I came on the scene, I began to confront it and I began to shift the atmosphere and it took a little while because our worship team, I'm, they're learning how to flow with me again. All right. Amen. But But I believe that there's joy coming. There may be pain in the night, but joy comes in the morning. And a lot of people yesterday felt uncertain. There was a spirit of uncertainty, a spirit of heaviness, a spirit of mourning, like something died, like you had to let go of something. Something was released. Something was dead. And yesterday, of course, we confronted in the service in the spirit realm and things began to shift. Now, let me ask you, do you feel like you're uncertain. Do you feel like you're waiting or you're wandering? Do you feel like Shara Baba Sat? Do you feel like you're waiting and wandering? My goodness, I feel the Lord so strong. You feel like you're stuck. You're tired. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired. You're saying, Dr. Ben, it's already July. I'm not seeing the breakthrough. I'm not seeing the miracles. I'm tired of believing. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of warring. It's the middle of summer. I just want to chill. I just want to relax. I just want to kick back. But who knows that many times when you let your guard down, that is when the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is when the enemy begins to release a surprise attack. And I believe right now the Lord is saying, do not let your guard down. Amen. Above all, guard your heart, for it is a wellspring of life. And I feel like in the last week, especially in the last week, many of us, we've let our guard down, so we've backtracked. We've retreated instead of advanced. Who you know is that God is an advancing God, not a retreating God. God is a God who is aggressive. For the kingdom of heaven advances by those who take it by force, who advances by aggression, by force. He's not a passive God. Amen. And he is actively moving. He's not passive. Even in rest, even though this is the seventh month and this is the seventh day anointing and I declared unto you, it's the seventh day of rest. But even in the rest, God was active. He was not passive. God was proactive. Amen. He was not just taking a seat back and being lazy and, and taking a chill pill. No. God is being active. And I believe right now in this season, the Lord is giving you rest, but he's also causing you to be proactive. He's causing you to be proactive and to be active and to advance and to be aggressive. Listen, there's a comeback coming to you. I prophesy comeback anointing. And I talked about this maybe in the last week. But I want to prophesy over you right now. Get ready for your spirit man to leap again. Get ready for joy to manifest again. Bam. 
the common, the familiar, the usual. Come on, God is breaking off the spirit of familiarity, which is a spirit of witchcraft, which is a spirit of religion. God is breaking off the spirit of familiarity. And many of you here right now, you feel tired. You feel sad. You feel sorrowful. You're getting emo. You're getting, all right, amen. You've opened up the door to a spirit of lies, of depression, of the sorry and sore loser spirit. Come on, somebody. Uh, I'm a sorry loser. I'm a sore loser, yada, yada, yada. And that pity party. No, you need to close the door to that spirit of pity. You need to close the door. Amen. Where even in the book of Job, it says, we're just a little worm. No, you're not a worm. You're a giant killing giant. You are a giant slaying giant. So what does that mean? That means you're coming into an upgrade into a new authority. You're coming into an upgrade into a new mantle. Come on, who am I talking to right now? You're coming into an upgrade and elevation of the spirit where God is saying what tried to destroy you is now going to elevate you. The very thing that tried to kill you is now going to promote you. The very thing that tried to stop you and discourage you and delay you and depress you and cause you to be in despair. Get ready for a comeback. And now I prophesy you are in three weeks of the unusual. Come on, someone say three weeks. Someone say 21 days. We are in a three-week season, a three-week window. We are in a three-week open heavens window, a 21-day season of unusual miracles that are being released in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes or share this on your wall. Three weeks, my friends. And I believe this month, and in this three-week window, everything's going to change in your life. Everything. The Lord said July is a month of breakthrough. Breakthrough financially. Breakthrough in your favor. Breakthrough relationally. Breakthrough revelatory. Re revel by revelation, there's going to be breakthrough. This month. You're breaking through. Amen. Rabba Sata. Where you feel broken down, you're going to break through. Where you feel like you've stopped, you're going to accelerate. And there's a spirit of acceleration coming upon you now, says God. Hallelujah. Winds of change. Winds of fire. Winds of glory. There's going to be winds of change coming upon you, blowing and breathing upon you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Why? Because we are in the three weeks of mourning. We are in the prophetic time that the Jews call the three weeks of mourning. Right on Thursday, boom, we stepped into three weeks of mourning. And now the 17th of Tammuz in the Hebrew calendar, all the way to the 9th of Av, Tishpa'av. Three weeks of the most detrimental, dark, gross, evil, heinous, violating crimes against Israel and in Israel's history. Hallelujah. Friends, help me to get to 200 today. Amen. And in these three weeks of mourning, many people are wandering, they're shifting. Hallelujah. Even as the Bible says, Satan has come to shift you like wheat. So right now, many people are letting their guards down. They've opened up the door to discouragement, depression, delay. But the Lord is about to accelerate those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Can I get an amen? The Lord is about to accelerate. And I believe that in these three weeks, many of you, you're going to gain new territory in the spirit you're going to advance in the supernatural when many people they're going to backtrack they're going to retreat they're going to lose ground but not for you as for me my, me and my household we will serve the lord as for me and my household we will serve the, it's time to dig in deeper it's time to go deeper it's time to go higher in this month you are not going to backtrack or retreat but you're going to advance forward and upward in jesus name so like I said, we're in three weeks of mourning. And that's why many of you, I'm, I'm giving prophetic language to what you are experiencing. Listen, I want you to give me some hearts and likes if you concur with this word. Not only do you feel a shift spiritually, but number two, hear me now. You feel like something's off. Something's weird. Something's not right. You're feeling something like, 
it is a disconnect in your heart, in your soul. And you feel like, you know what, I'm doing the religious things. I'm doing the usual things, but I feel like something is off in my spirit. I need first love to be reignited again. I need the fire of first love to be activated in my life again. If that's you, I want you to say amen. Because I know in the body of Christ right now, the Lord is beginning to shift and to sift. I want you to say that. Shift and to sift the wheat and the tares. In this season, the weak will fall off, but those who make the Lord their strength, they will receive new mercies, new graces, and they will accelerate and advance and elevate like never before. If I'm talking to you, I want to say amen and give some hearts and likes. This is a month, not of depression, but of elevation. This is a month, not of oppression, but of liberty. This is a month not of retreating, but advancing. This month, the Lord's going to release the supernatural over your life. And you might say, well, Dr. Ben, God wants to release the supernatural all the time. I got the Holy Ghost. But you see, when you understand the times and seasons of God, you understand more so what God is doing. Because there's certain things that God does or he highlights or he specifically is invested in even more than other times and other things. Amen. And in this season, the three weeks of mourning, I prophesy three weeks of the unusual. Three weeks of unusual miracles will take place in your life. Unusual opportunities. Unusual appointments. Unusual dreams and visions. Listen, I woke up this morning from an unusual dream, amen? Who's ready for an unusual dream? An unusual encounter from Jesus? Get ready for the comeback anointing. There's gonna be unusual things, and you know what? Even for my prophetic word of the month of July, the Lord said one of the things you can expect this month is exposure. And I realized that the movie Sound of Freedom, that is exposure at its fullest. Amen. Exposure of the evil, wicked deeds of darkness, of child trafficking, being exposed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So listen, I want to talk to you about three weeks of unusual. Because I believe in these three weeks, God is setting you up for the last three months of 5783. And uh, I'm beginning to write a prophetic blog titled The Last Three Months of 5783, The Gemel Anointing. We are in the last three months of the Gemel Anointing, friends. And remember, what is Gemel? Gemel in Hebrew is number three, but Gemel in Hebrew means camels. Because the Hebrew letter of Gemel is shaped like a camel. As well, Gemel is shaped like a foot. Excuse me, Gemel, the Hebrew alphabet letter is shaped like a foot. But Gemel number three, what it means is camel. So we are in the last three months of 5783. We're in the last three months of the Gemel anointing. So I believe in these last three months of 5783, the Lord is going to release the Gemel anointing and he is going to raise up your foot to kick the devil in the face to kick open doors, to step into new levels, new realms, new locations, new new platforms, new nations, new regions. Come on, somebody, even in the next three months, I'm going to be in Israel, Lord willing, Egypt, Lord willing, South Africa. I'm going to be in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Lord willing, Taiwan. I'm going to be in, uh, where else, Samoa, Fiji, Hawaii, in the next three months. Amen. And even by November, I'll be back in Korea. Amen. So God is moving you. And in the next three months, the last three months of 5783, get ready for the strongest manifestation of the Gemel anointing. Come on, if you receive that, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. In the last three months of 5783, we will see the strongest manifestations of the Gemel anointing. If you're with me, say amen. 
So I'm writing a prophetic blog about that, which I'll release probably by the end of the week. But I'm talking to you about the three weeks of the unusual that we are in right now. I want you to say unusual. We are in three weeks of unusual shifts, sifts, and blessings. Amen. I want to give you a word here. Let's go to the word of God. If you're with me today, say amen. I want to go to the word of God. Amen. Shanaman Darabata. Amos 9.14. Amos 9.14. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Amos 9.14. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel. And they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. And they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. My goodness. I want to read that again. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel. And they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. And they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. If you receive that word, I want you to say amen. In these three weeks, what happened in these three weeks? Moses became angry with the prostitution of God's people, like what's happening now. A lot of his people right now, they're going wayward. Right now in this season, you're being discouraged. You're getting slothful. You're getting lazy. You're giving up on your assignment. You're throwing in the towel. So a lot of people right now, it's like they're prostituting themselves to a form of a golden calf. Moses got angry and he broke the Ten Commandments, the tablets of stone. From there, it opened up a cycle and it opened up a pattern of destruction over Israel, of judgment in Israel. Amen. Of judgment. And from that time, every year, these three weeks called three weeks of mourning, there will be a repeated cycle of judgment, destruction, chaos, and uprooting. Okay, for following me, just nod your head. Yes, to say amen. But you see, the walls of Jerusalem were also destroyed in this time. As well, the temple was also destroyed. Amen. All right, so hear me now. You got the walls, then you got the temple. The walls and the temple. The walls and the temple. The walls can stand for your prayer life. Amen. The walls can stand for your spiritual prayer life. Your prayer life of protection. Your prayer life of spirituality. But the temple stands for you. Your soul. And in these three weeks. Some say preach Dr. Ben. In these three weeks. God is recreating your prayer life and your soul. That's why you feel such an unusual shift in the atmosphere and in the spirit. It's hard for you to point your finger on it. It's hard for you to pinpoint it. You know something's off, something's shifted, something's different, and it's difficult, but it's hard for you to point your finger on it because everything's changed and the old walls are falling and the old temple was destroyed. Which means God is creating a new temple. God is creating new walls. Which means there's a restoration and a rebuilding anointing. So hear me now. In this three weeks of the unusual. God is destroying the old thing. The old guard is falling. The old walls are falling. The old ways of thinking are falling. Listen, I'm not the same person I was from a few weeks ago. I'm not the same person I was from one month ago. I know I'm different, amen? I feel different, I know I'm different. I've broken through, I've upgraded to another level, so I'm saying amen. And so in these three weeks of the unusual, many people are gonna experience the falling of the walls of the old. But, hear me now, many will not be able to upgrade into the new. They're just going to stay stuck in their pity party, in their sadness, feeling sorry, a victim, spirit of victim mentality. They're going to be stuck on the floor of false humility. They're going to be stuck on the floor of feeling like a sorry, sore loser, 
all emotional like a puddle mess, not being able to figure out what God is saying, not repenting, not coming back to first love, not coming back to the original design of God, not getting things right and in order. But you know something fell. The old walls fell. The temple was destroyed. Something's died. Something's dead. Something shifted and sifted. But those who are not discerning will not upgrade. But those who are discerning will build something new. Restoration and rebuilding. I want you to say that. Restoration and rebuilding. I want to prophesy. In these three weeks, there is going to be a realm of restoration, which is rest. And is as well going to be a realm of rebuilding. Come on, somebody. When the walls were destroyed, you are going to be able to collect some of those pieces. Some. And you are going to build something new unto God for the next season and for the future. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. I'll restore the fortunes of my people Israel. And they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. They shall make their gardens and eat their fruit. Are you ready to eat the fruit of your gardens? Are you ready to eat the fruit of your gardens? If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Now I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen, Sarah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rababa. Because in these three weeks, expect unusual manifestations to take place in your life. Some say unusual. Expect unusual manifestations to take place in your life. Unusual miracles, unusual opportunities, unusual appointments, unusual encounters. Amen. But you must guard your heart. Guard your eyes. Don't fall back into sin. Don't fall back into familiar spirits, the old cycle, the old pattern. Don't fall back. Guard your eyes, your mind, your heart, your mouth. Do not curse your future. You may be tired, but don't throw in the towel. Earlier this Saturday, the Lord showed me a vision of a runner of a marathon race. And I shared this on the Clubhouse app. And the runner of the marathon race was the last one out of four. So it was the last one and was running with the baton in his hand. But all of a sudden, the runner became tired oof, and weak and weary. And the spirit of lies, unworthiness, shame began to infiltrate his mind. Who here knows it's always a mind game. And as the lies began to infiltrate the mind, he began to slow down and he wanted to give up. He wanted to give up. But all of a sudden, cha, the wind of God came and the wind of the Lord thrusted him forward and gave him an extra push. Some say push. Gave him the extra wink from heaven. The wink of God. I gave him the extra push, the extra thrust, the extra encouragement who you know prophecy is for edification encouragement and exhortation and the winds of god came and pushed them forward to finish the run in these three weeks don't give up Cha! get ready for a fresh wind get ready for a second wind get ready for a new wind Choo! god is going to thrust you forward amen he's going to encourage you He's going to meet you. He's going to counter. So don't give up. I know some of you are tired, but I prophesy strength in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen, right now, I want to pray for those who feel tired. You want to give up, okay? You're, you're feeling this tug of war in your spirit. Amen. You know you're doing the religious, sanctimonious, superficial things. Even today, some of you, you're watching my broadcast because you love me. But your heart maybe feels calloused. Your heart feels too familiar. I'm talking to you right now. It's going to break in Jesus' name. Amen. But some of you, your heart feels calloused, wounded, heart offended. You're offended at God. I thought you were going to do it sooner. I thought you were, God, what happened? Rebe da But God right now, 
is going to begin to encounter you and touch you and bless you with the tangible presence of the Lord, reawakening your heart to first love once again. If you feel tired, you feel depressed, you feel discouraged, you feel downtrodden, oh my soul. You feel sad, shame, darkness, doom, gloom, a cloud of confusion, light ta, is surrounding you, is bombarding your mind. If that's you, I want you to put your hands over your heart right now. Right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. Fire of the Holy Ghost. For the fire of God. Right now. Burn. Right now. There it is. Fire. 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 I literally see a vision of the Lord pulling you out from drowning. First, I heard the word uproot. And then I saw a vision of like a fishing hook. When you go fishing, the line goes down and the hook goes down, but a hook go down the waters and it pull you out, literally fling you out and save you from drowning right now in Jesus name. Touch your people now. Rebe sete. Right now. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed, oh my soul. Your soul will sing again. Your soul will praise again. Your soul will be glad again. Be glad in him. Amen. In this month. God will restore the fortunes and you will rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I feel breakthrough right now. Pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Come on, bind every lie. I throw down every high place. I bring low every foul demon of depression, every foul demon of spirit of death. Come on, pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Give me some hearts and lights. Come on, get active right now. There is a breaker anointing right now in this moment. The fire of God. Fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost. I curse every curse. I break every witchcraft. I break every sleep paralysis. Hamasha, Hamasha. Fire. Listen, some of you, you've been feeling stuck and bound. It's a literally you're paralyzed by spirit of fear. I break it now. Rabasa. Speak to your mouth mountain how big your God is don't complain to God about how big that mountain is mountain move in Jesus name I speak mountain move come on prophesy grace grace to the mountain mountain move in the mighty name of Jesus come on somebody shout hallelujah mountain move hallelujah Rabba Sata the fire of God shut up his mercies are new every morning. New mercies, new glory, new breakthrough, new anointing, new fire, new encounters, new revelations, new. Somebody shout new. In these three weeks, oof, get ready for unusual, unusual miracles. So number one, guard your hearts. Guard your heart, my friends. Guard your heart, your mind, your mouth, your eyes, your soul. Guard your heart. Because in these three weeks, the enemy is roaring, prowling like a roaring lion. Looking to see whom he can deceive and devour. Don't fall for the bait of Satan. Don't fall for the bait of the devil. So in these three weeks, number one, guard your heart. Guard your heart. Do you feel a shift right now? Do you feel a breakthrough right now? Amen. After we release that corporate prayer, do you feel a shift? Amen. It's like something lifted off your eyes. A film lifted off. Some say amen. So number one, guard your heart, my friends. Guard your heart. Amen. Number two, be on the lookout for unusual blessings, opportunities, and appointments be on the lookout you have to actively pursue actively pray into 
Be actively aware, all right? Be aware. Be aware, pursue, and pray into it, right? So in these three weeks, child, there's going to be a, a realm of unusual changes, appointments, and opportunities. But be open to it. Amen. Because I believe in these next three weeks, while many people's walls are falling and being destroyed, you will rebuild and you will increase and you will break through to the next level. If you're with me, say amen. So number two, number two, be actively watching, looking out for praying for new opportunities, unusual appointments, unusual encounters, changes in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're with me today, say amen, all right? And then number three, the third thing, I believe in these next three weeks, the third thing, amen. The third thing that's gonna take place as there's unusual changes, praise God, is that there's going to be a new you, a new you, a new mantle. This is a month of rebirthing and recreating because seven is completion. The month of July is the seventh month. It's a month of completion. So there's a new thing that God's doing. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Are you receiving this, friends? Y'all got me really with these angry eyes today. Y'all got me really intense today. <laughs> but in these three weeks of the unusual, there's going to be a new you. A new you. So do not go back to the old you. Don't compromise. Stop Stop snooping around with the old version of you. Stop snooping around with your old version. You're a new person. Who, who knows that you are different from even one month ago? If that's you, give some hearts and likes. Who knows like you've shifted? Amen. And many of you, you're at a crossroads right now. You're saying, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Something needs to change. Something needs needs to change right now in me. Amen. You're going back to first love. You're going back to the future. You're going back to the original word of the Lord. You're going back because throughout the last six months in this season, you know, we've wandered, we've strayed, we've vacationed, we've had fun, etc. So we did a lot, but it's a new season. So there's a new you and I'm not going back. I need you to write that. I'm not going back. You're not going back. Amen. I'm not going back to those fake friends, those losers, those pity parties, those gossipers, those slanders, those frenemies, low-level poverty mind spirit. I'm not going back. Amen. Come on. I'm not going back to people who just use me, abuse me, slime my name. I'm not going back to where there's disrespect, dishonor, where there's secret shade, secret envy and jealousy. I'm not going back. Amen. I'm not going back to where they tolerate me. I'm only going back to where they celebrate. I'm not going back. The old me's dead. It's gone. Hallelujah. So in these three weeks of unusual, someone say unusual. Are you ready for unusual breakthrough? Unusual miracles, unusual glory, unusual encounters. Come on. Unusual. Ibasata, unusual miracles in your life shall take place in the name of Jesus. Unusual. So number one, guard your heart. Am I talking to you? Who am I talking to? Guard your heart, guard your mind. Don't let offense, compromise, jealousy, depression. Don't let, don't let that creep in. Guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your eyes, guard your spirit, guard your ears. Amen. Number one. Number two, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. <laughs> Amen. Be on the lookout for new opportunities, new appointments, and unusual changes. And then number three, you are going to become a new you. A new you. You're going to become a new man, a new woman, a new Rob Filler, 
a new Ronel Rousseau, <laughs> a new Margaret Kelewe Yakwe, a new Tatala Pelele F. Lelevaga, amen, sorry, but I tried, a new Elizabeth, a new Sonia, a new Susie, a new Vani Sharma, a new Louise Emmanuel, come on, Rabba Baba, that's right. Hear about Madeline Jacobs, a new Melly, hallelujah, a new Andrea Flores, a new Avis, a new Adam Criddle, come on, a new Awan Rin Emilomo, come on, somebody shout new. A new Renee Gardner, a new Pastor Sharon Smith, a new Abi Oviawe. Sonia, amen, a new Vicky, a new era Chanel, governor, amen, a new Jose and Leticia, a new Cynthia, Jesus, I feel the glory so strong, listen, there's such an open heavens now, just close your eyes and talk to the Lord, close your eyes, lift up your hands and just begin to bubble up and gush up, when you sense his presence, you soar in the glory. <laughs> He's turning your bitter into sweet. He's turning your brokenness into breakthrough. He's bringing order back. Listen, I want to prophesy order. Order is coming back to your life. Some things feel out of order. Some things feel chaotic all over the place. But he's bringing order back to your life, to your spirit. If that's you, lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for order and alignment from heaven above. Jesus. And listen, right now, God is giving downloads. In fact, some of you, you really need to be writing. I feel like I'm back in a writing season, which is good for me. Because whenever I write, it means I'm processing with the Lord. And God is giving new bread, new manna, revelation. There's times about every three, four months, I'll just get away and write about 20, 30, 40, 50 pages of notes. Just me and God. It's processing my heart. God giving me new ideas, blueprints, revelations, filling me with faith for the future. But I saw three weeks. Let my ear be attentive to you. Jesus. Jesus. Harabashata rababa. This is what's coming up in my spirit right now. My goodness. Jesus. Rabba shata rabba baba. And my heart. This is the wrong verse. I believe the one I'm looking for is with Solomon. Burns for you. Well, we'll get into this here. So that, <clears throat> so thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Now, there's a verse where I believe it's Solomon prays and says, make my heart to be an ear to your words. Shatata. I believe the Lord is saying, be attentive to his words in these next three weeks. Be close to God. In fact, some of you, you do need to shut in with Jesus. You need to shut in with Jesus because the next three weeks is going to be either detrimental or exponential. Shatata. 
Make my ear attentive. Give me a hearing heart, O Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Someone say amen. Jesus. In these next three weeks, I prophesy unusual miracles over your life. Someone say unusual. Father in heaven, how we love you. We lift your name in all the earth. Let your kingdom be established on our praises. As your people declare your mighty word. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Who reigns forevermore. And blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Who reigns? Jesus. New manna. I see new manna coming down to you. Rabba ba ba ba. New manna's falling. New rain's falling. Ma ma ma. Shout! Hey! Hallelujah! Woo! Fire of the Holy Ghost! Somebody shout hallelujah! Jesus! 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 Come on, shout hallelujah! Woo! Fire of the Holy Ghost! <laughs> hallelujah! My goodness. Masa Tarababa. Unusual miracles in the name of Jesus. My goodness. Come on, give us some hearts and likes in this place. Sharababa. Shandarababa. Rebesheta. Get ready for your baby to leap again. Get ready to leap. You will leap over walls. You will advance against the troop. Come on, you will leap, 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 leap. Hirabasata. You will dance. You will skip. My goodness. I just heard the Lord say quantum leap. Get ready for a quantum skip, a quantum leap. You are about to go through realms. You're about to skip through quantum realms. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout fire. Baraboshata. Thank you, Lord. Someone say turn around. Three weeks of unusual. So guard your heart. Be on the lookout. Pray into it for new opportunities, appointments. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I received that right now. Wow. I just realized today I'm meeting with one of my mentors. And that's, whew, thank you, Lord. <sighs> only you are holy. Only you, Jesus. And only you are worthy. Only you, Jesus. Jesus. Rabba Baba Sata. Come on, I need you to say amen. My goodness. I'm so drunk. I'm drunk in the Holy Ghost. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Come on. I need you to clap your hands seven times and shout breakthrough seven times. 
breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Ebarabashata. My goodness. Are you ready for a new you? A whole new world. A whole new world. If you received this word today, I want you to say amen and give the Lord a mighty shout. Now, once again, friends, I'm going to be in Samoa, the nation of Samoa, in two weeks' time. Then after that, we're going to be in Hawaii. Amen. Do you want to be in Hawaii? Come and see me, myself and Prophet Charlie Shamp. We're going to be out there in Hawaii. It's going to be awesome. Amen. And Bren Shamp and Steve Swanson. Now you could watch online. Or you could come and meet us in person. Amen. On site. It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be glorylicious. It's going to be mega. It's going to be Megatron, really. Really Megatron. Amen. So listen, get into glory. Come and join us in Hawaii at the end of the month in two and a half weeks time. And myself, Prophet Charlie Sham, Brent Champ, and Steve Swanson. Or join us online. Join us online. Join us online and be a part of the move. Amen. If you're coming or if you're joining, I want to say I'm coming or I'm joining. Very happy to hear, I believe our Apache friends from South Santa Fe, New Mexico are coming too. So very, very excited. I think we saw a family or a couple from Canada, they're coming down, amen. Come to Texas McAllen. Number one, need an invite. And then number two, I need the word of the Lord. So if you would like to invite us, amen, you could go to booking at BenlamGlobal.com because I do have some open weekends still up to the end of the year. So I would love to. Honestly, I barely ministered in Texas my whole life. Isn't that funny? But we would love to see you in Hawaii. Amen. Register, register, register. We also have VIP tickets. Amen. VIP tickets. And that's going to be awesome. So come and see me in Hawaii. Myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Champ, and Steve Swanson. Amen. Glory be to God. And now, if you were blessed today, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, you believe it or believe it or not, I've only ministered maybe two times in Texas my whole life. My whole life. In Dallas at Christ for the Nations Institute once. And a second time was uh, just last October in Dallas. We did a pop-up meeting. But I've barely even gone to Texas, nor ministered in Texas my whole life. Isn't that incredible? So I need some new connections, some new friends in Texas. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, listen, if you're blessed today, I want you to say amen. If you believe that this was the word of the Lord for you, I want you to say hallelujah. Listen, friends. I want to open up a time for you to bless the Lord and to sow into this atmosphere. Now, I know many of you left, but there's still some hungry ones here. I'm telling you, I do not put up the giving link or open up a time for you to sow unless I feel very strong from God. And I know this is a word of words today. This is a word of words. Three weeks of the unusual. Three weeks of the unusual. If you believe this is a word and you're believing for unusual momentum, favor, doors, opportunities, etc., I want you to say amen. And I want you to sow. Sow unto the Lord. And as you sow, I want you to comment unusual. Now, I have pinned the ways to give the link tree. Amen. And I want to invite you to sow. And you might say, Dr. Ben, I don't have enough to serve and I'm not able to. Well, you know what? Why don't you make a pledge? Because God will give seed to the sower. Amen. And I really believe in the anointing on this word. And I really believe in the importance, hallelujah, of being able to sow into this word today. Amen. So as you sow, 
I want you to comment unusual. Amen. Praise God. I want you to comment unusual in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you sow and as you comment unusual, I want to call out your name in agreement. Listen, some of you need a mega breakthrough. Get your seed in the ground. These three weeks, it's going to be unusual favor, unusual momentum. Vanessa bless you. Tess bless you. Tatala Palale, sorry, I'll see you in some more and bless you, Crystal. Vicky, bless you. Amen. Rachel, bless you. I'm telling you, Rachel. Vani Sharma, bless you. Likian, bless you. Jackie, bless you. Shoo. Unusual. Glory, glory. Betty Templeman, bless you. Vicky, bless you. Yes, amen. Rapo Roma, bless you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. More unusual, Lord. Hallelujah. Rabba Rabata. Susie Victor, amen. Malu TJ. Good to see the Samoan fam strong here today. Mystique Lee. Esther Adriana. Thank you, Lord. Rabanda de da Boshata. Meli Samuel Sawaj. Kajisha Wise, amen. Avis W. Brown, bless you. Providence Ivana, fire of God. Come on, keep it flowing, keep it going. I know there's some more out here. Margaret K., bless you. I miss you guys. We got to talk. I want to plan for Marshall Islands next year. Asulu, bless you. Fire. My goodness, I'm excited. Listen, tomorrow I'm going off to Yosemite. I'm going to have a lot of great getaway time with God in the woods, hiking. Uh, DC, bless you. Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jenna Lee Owens, bless you. So tomorrow I'm going off to Yosemite. Pastor Sharon, bless you. For the rest of the week. And uh, I, I'm just, ex <laughs> can't wait for a scrumdedly umptious encounter with my Jesus. It's going to be finger licking good. Hallelujah. And I'm uh, going to do a lot of writing. Lots of writing. Thank you. Maybe next year I'll, I'll come to Uganda. We're praying into that. 2024. Glory. As you sow, comment unusual. Amen. Amen, Glenda, bless you. Glenda Francis Brooks. From Ontario, bless you. Ah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Can you believe it? It's only been one week since we finished Route 66. One week. Bless you, Melissa. Get ready to testify. And I even saw Feli earlier, Melissa. I don't know if she's on now, but I saw Feli comment about some kind of prayer request coming to pass in her life. So I, we got to follow up. Candace, bless you. Believe it or not, friends, listen, I see Candace as I'm hovering over your name. You're from Texas. I've only ministered twice in Texas. Can one of you Texans please help me? All right. Come on. I want to break through into Texas. I want to break through into Texas. So if you're a Texan, come on, holla at your boy, Dr. B. Lim. We got to break. We got to release the glory in Texas. Amen. Roseanne, God bless you. Thank you. Avis, God bless you. So if you are from Texas, 
Come on, somebody pray about having me, inviting me, because we need an alignment in Texas. Amen. And I want to come and break something open in the state of Texas. All it takes is one. And then that one will break open a domino effect, the dams of heaven. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree, Glenda. I agree. Shut up, Abarabata. And let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Well, friends, I love you. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, a follow, share. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. And uh, I got to open up my thread today. But uh, please consider giving this broadcast a share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe as the Lord leads. Amen. We're praying for you, Sister Karen. Our love to you and your family. Our love and our condolences. Amen. The Lord is with you. Well, friends, bless you. Love you. Have a great day. And a great week. Shalom.